Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. This is Mama Loves Crafty Cuteness. Okay guys, so this is my very first video for the new year. I actually posted one on New Year's, but I did not record it on New Year's. Um, so, um, of course you can tell from my voice, I'm feeling so much more better. And thank you guys so much for the prayers and the well wishes. I so appreciate it. Um, so I have a, um, a Dollar Tree haul and I have some items that I ended up uh, getting from Walmart because I had an exchange so um, I figured I gotta look you know just for the heck of it I didn't do after Christmas shopping um, but since I bit was in the store I just figured I'd just kind of glance through and see what they had left so but before I get started you guys I know this sounds crazy and it is a new year and but I'm seriously thinking about changing my name like one more time I know that sounds terrible um, because my first, you know, first, when I first started YouTube, I just put my full name on there and I was watching a video and the lady had asked, how did you get your YouTube name? And I was like, oh my God, I didn't realize we can customize it. And I mean, there were so many different names. I don't know if I was thinking that people were, I don't know what I was thinking. Cause when I first started YouTube, I, I just had no idea. Um, uh, let's put it this way. I had no idea how to navigate, um, the actual website let's put it that way okay because I did notice a lot of people have their names so that being said I ended up changing it to this mama loves Disney well I got to a point where I'm like realizing I don't just do Disney I wanted to do more than just Disney and um, so then I changed it recently to this mama loves crafty cuteness but it's so long and I hear people struggle when they're trying to remember the name. So I was like, okay, I gotta think of something else. So just letting you know a heads up that I may be doing it one more time and I think that's gonna be it, I'll be done. Um, Cause if I do ever change it again, it's gonna go back just to my original name just to make it easier. Um, so that being said, so I have the tear tray that I ended up picking up from Dollar Tree. It was this one right here. It was in the $5 spot. Now, I just have on there some last year Valentine um, goodies that I ended up purchasing after Valentine's Day. Um, and I have no idea exactly what I ended up paying for them. I don't remember if they were 50% off or um, 75 or 90 I have or 80 I don't even remember. But what I wanted to share was that so I did pick up two of these little um, banners um, last year and they're in the pink and white and then I ended up picking up those little checkered uh, little puffy pillow hearts that you can like add to garland and so for Valentine's Day I've always done just traditional white and red because everything seems to be all in white and red except for all my Disney stuff that I have that comes out and of course Mickey's ears are all black and Minnie's ears are all black but I was thinking about going with pink and black and of course I have some red here and there but I'm going to predominantly try to stick with pink and black so I ended up finding this uh mesh and so I was thinking because I uh share right here how you can just like gather it and I've never really just gathered it because I usually use it, um, this particular kind of mesh that has the snow on it. I usually use those for projects, but I've never actually used it for a project of making a wreath or um, making garland. So I was going to try my hand at garland and um, so I was going to use that and then the little puffy hearts, I'll probably keep it on the tray because I put the tray on my kitchen uh, table in the middle of my kitchen table and sometimes I'll put um, a lazy Susan so that it can turn you know um, so that you can see all sides of it uh, so that's what I may do so I picked up that and then I had ordered really quick oh excuse me <coughs> that coughing just seems to want it to just sneak up on me I'm sorry about that I apologize I haven't gotten rid of the cough all altogether but I did pick up some more of the diamond print glitter paper um, my friend Lisa had told me that it was on sale uh, I think it was 444 so um, oops sorry 
So this is what it looks like, and it just has like a little bit of a crystal look. And you know what's funny? I thought it was different, and then when I looked at all my other papers, it's not different. It is exactly the same as some of the papers that I have. Um, it was just the packaging is different, and the price is different, because um, they have the same 10 sheets, which were 110, excuse me, 104 uh, pound cardstock, and uh, and so it had, you know, it said the diamond glitter. So it was the exact same thing. I just didn't know it. I thought it was two different ones when I received it because when I was uh, kind of moving it around, I don't, you can't see it on camera, but it has like a crystal borealis look where, it, you know, the prism of the, uh, the light picks up, you know, like a prism where it picks up all the different colors. Um, so it's really, really pretty. So... I guess I'm going to have more in my stash because I just recently picked up a four pack as well and I guess I'm going to have some to be able to gift. So then um, I also picked up um, after Christmas, I picked up some of these earrings. I saw these before Christmas and I was like, uh, I just don't want to pay $5 for them, you know, because I was like, have so many Christmas earrings already. And then um, they were so uh, 75% off I think it was so I ended up getting these for a dollar 25 and so I picked up a bunch of them because I figured oh I can use these as charms if I wanted to as well plus I can use some for gifting so I picked up those um, I also picked up this darling stocking you guys the pickings were slim there but I picked up this darling stock and it was regular ten dollars and it's just a cute little snowman and I thought, oh my gosh, I love this. I could probably just add some Happy Mail to this and fill it up with uh, some Happy Mail next year. So I did pick that up. I didn't, you know, because we use uh, Disney stockings, so um, I don't really do snowman um, anymore. I used to do snowman. Everything used to be all in snowman years ago. And then I changed it all to Disney, and I invested so much money in my Disney that <laughs> it's staying Disney. So, um, and then, and then here and there I, uh, have incorporated, uh, some vintage. Okay. So then I ended up picking up one of these little bubble tapes to stick in, to stick in some happy mail. I also picked up one of these little notepads. I thought it was cute. So I picked that up. And then I always see these LA colors, um, nail polishes at the Dollar Tree and they had it for 99 cents at uh at a uh, walmart so i got 25 percent. i mean 25 cents off so i went ahead and got it i love this color because when mine tan this color looks so pretty okay which i'm not now kind of got that uh tan i mean light look look going on okay and then i picked up one of these i know i had picked up recently some um mascara from Dollar Tree but this is a mascara I usually always buy um I've been buying this gosh years ago when I first started YouTube as well I was watching Da Boss Ella and oh, she talks about how she uses this paradise um this is L'Oreal's paradise um uh mascara and she doubles it up and it's so beautiful because I don't I don't use I don't wear fake eyelashes so um I do it during the holidays uh like Halloween um not holidays per se but Halloween and so this comes with a primer so I went ahead and got it every time I see it with the primer I usually pick it up because I love that primer also as well so I picked this up that's kind of pricey guys just so you know it's like $19 it was $18.99 okay so then, uh, okay, so that, oh, one more thing. Um, so I ended up picking up some of these little uh, gift holders because I usually give the kids money for Christmas. So these are card holders, but I'm, I, this year I put cash in them. So, because I had previously bought some. Uh, this one says Santa's Bucks and it says Christmas Coffee. And I got two of those. And then I ended up getting this cute little one that has a little spinner. And it says, what will Santa bring? And then you just kind of 
<laughs> just spin it and I thought those were cute so I ended up picking up two of those and then from Dollar Tree okay so I picked up this sign that says kissing booth I thought this was darling and I love anything that has like 10 cents five cents because it just reminds me when we were growing up we used to go to 7-eleven I used I grew up in California and we would ride our bikes to 7-eleven and all the candy was like five cents 25 cents 10 cents and so I love when I see things like that okay so I did pick up that kissing booth sign and then I did see these cute little kissing booth signs also as well so I picked up one of each of those you guys this is too plain for me so I'm definitely going to have to um, do some uh, some help. They need some help. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing some major altering to these. So I did pick up those. I thought those were darling. And then um, I did pick this up because when I was looking at the Dollar Tree before, I did not see these. So I went ahead and bought this to add to one of the Valentine's packages that I'm going to be making because um, I thought it would be cute with the whole theme. And then I also got a bag, a Valentine's bag to put that stuff in. I thought it was cute with the hearts. It all matches. And then I ended up picking up some of these little coffee cups um, that have the little hearts. I, I realized when I was watching a few different videos that they have a different um, pattern. So I'm going to look for that different pattern because I'm going to add this to my Happy Mail as well. And then I ended up picking up another one of these. I think the other flavor that I had uh, was black coffee. I don't know what black coffee is gonna was is gonna smell like, but um, this one is vanilla latte. So I did pick this one up. You guys, these are so great. Okay, because like at night, I love to put chapstick on so that my lips stay, you know, moist all the time so I always put chapstick on before I go to bed so a lot of times uh, I'll just put these like right by my bedside and use these kind of little cute little lip glosses okay and the whole reason for my Dollar Tree trip again because I had no intentions to go to Dollar Tree I needed to find these I needed these little hair rollers because I use these for projects and I was all out um, I had only one left. I shouldn't say I'm all out. I had one left. So I did uh, pick that up. Then, um, like always, Poochie always gets me. <laughs> so she had picked up some of this ribbon and she made bows out of it. Well, I have, I, I was, I was seeing it everywhere. Okay. My last trip, I was seeing him. I was seeing him at Dollar Tree's. Um, every time I had to go someplace or whatever to a Dollar Tree, I was seeing him. Well, I didn't pick them up. They have a light pink. There was this dark pink. There was red and there was black. Well, I ended up getting the black and I don't know why. I just, I, I guess because I figured I can use it with, um, you know, the, the little setup that I'm going to try to put together. But they only had the fuchsia. So I did pick up the fuchsia and I'm kind of kicking myself because I wish I would have picked up the light pink. But that's okay because um, I have so many of them. I had so many of them, but when I looked at the colors, all of, all of them are all Halloween colors. <laughs> so um, I was able to get one, which was awesome. Okay. And then I was watching one uh, someone on YouTube, and she had picked up some of these little lanterns. And she ended up pulling out the little, uh, little tag. And she turned it on. You guys, these are so bright. These are perfect when the electricity goes out um, to keep like, you know, to keep around the house. So like when the electricity goes out, whether you keep a candle or a light in the bathroom, these are perfect just to put on the kitchen table. Because usually when the lights go out, we're always gathered in the family room near the kitchen. And so we always keep the brightest lights right in the kitchen. So these are perfect to keep on the table so that we could, um, you know. Um, just pick it up like this and just go wherever we need to go in the house because we have a two-story so um, we don't usually have lights and candles all over the place so I did pick up a few of those I thought those were great okay and then um, I did pick up 
a few of these for my freshies because when you make the freshies, you gotta put the little beads inside of a jar and then you put the scents in there and they gotta sit in there for like a week or two, depending on your weather. Um, so these were the bigger jars. So I ended up picking up a couple of those. And then I picked up some socks. I thought these were cute to add to um, Happy Mail. So I picked, they only had one of the ones with the hearts on it. So I did pick this one up. This is a, the Polo Club ones. And then I got some more Snuggadoos. Because I love these, you guys. They're so comfy, especially in my boots. When I'm wearing the, like, uh, bear claws that look like Ugg boots, um, these are the most comfortable to wear inside there and around the house. So I do have, I got some more of those. I did pick up one of these little um, craft scrapers. Um, that is for vinyl because I'm planning, I was watching a couple videos um, where one specifically where this one girl had made cut out so many different vinyls and she ended up uh like say for instance she bought some jars like this and she made some snowflake vinyl and then she put the snow and she just used a little um craft square i'm excuse me uh scraper and um and i have some of these for my cricut but i don't have the really tiny ones so i thought that would be cute to use for that i probably already have one in my stash who knows um and then um i also picked up a bunch of these little um makeup bags um i was excited to see these i had never seen these before i wonder if that was just on the inside, let me see. Sorry, distraction squirrel. Um, I'm wondering, okay, that's not a, I thought it was a pen mark. Um, so I picked up a bunch of these because I thought these would be fun to personalize for Christmas or birthdays uh, or Halloween. So um, I haven't decided yet what I was gonna do, but I bought a bunch of them. I left some two behind, but I did grab a bunch. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Okay, and then uh, this is new to Dollar Tree for me. Um, they have Harry and David um, products. And now I've, I've when I was working, uh, there was a couple customers that had sent in around the holidays Harry and David cookies. So I've only tasted the cookies. I've never tasted their um, actual coffees. So I thought I would try this. This is a butterscotch caramel. They also had a maple uh, vanilla and then a chocolate peanut butter. Oh my God, you guys, there's one chocolate peanut butter. It's called Elvis at HEB, if you have an HEB around you. And it's like, um, it, it's like special ground and it's called, I think it's called the Elvis. And it's, uh, Banana and peanut, I mean, banana, uh, no, yeah, peanut butter and banana, because I guess everybody says Elvis loved those sandwiches, which I heard was wrong, that was not true um, later on, but yeah, so it's called the Elvis, and then I did pick up some K-Cups right here that are breakfast blend, so I got some of those, and then um, Melissa watching Melissa Carroll oh my god hey Melissa love 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 Melissa's channel love anything and everything Melissa and so she had purchased a tower or she had a tower and she showed how she altered it well I was like oh my god I love that idea and I have a small spot um, in the corner of my craft room and I said that would be perfect so I got the tower way before Christmas and but my son recently was off uh, during Christmas um, week and so he put it together for me and Melissa had put like this big um, big um, oh God, what is it magnetic sheet on there so that she can put some little things well I have a big magnetic sheet but it's a calendar and I was like oh I don't know it fit perfect it's the perfect size but it's got calendar print on it and then I'm like I don't know if I want that so I just went ahead and picked up some of these, some more of these wood frames. These wood frames are a repurchase. Um, I have them. I have these bamboo uh, shelves on my desk 
Um, and so these are on the back of the bamboo shelves and the Dollar Tree has those little circular, uh, little cute colored containers. So I have the big ones on there right now and then I purchased some small ones to also add some small ones. But I thought, you know what, before I put the small ones on the bamboo, because I have some other ones that I had gotten from um, Oriental Trading as well. So I said, before I do that, let me go ahead and put the small ones on here because then I can fit more of the little small ones on here. So I bought four of these to put in that same position. Um, so I'll just go ahead and stack those. And then um, she had also had added some shelving, which was masterful. Um, so I ended up picking up some of the acrylic shelving to put on there. And then I also picked up from Dollar Tree some of these nylon cables so I can add them um, to the, uh, oh my God, what is it called? The pegboard, I think that's what they call it. Um, because I never use a pegboard. I got a pegboard on something else and I just took it off because I don't even use it. I, I'm not really um, sure exactly what I would do with a pegboard. So I like the shelving instead. So I do have some little containers that are also coming in that will fit on here perfectly um, from Amazon. So they still have yet to come. And then I also, um, <laughs> I don't know, you guys, I don't know. I just did it. They have Dove pudding. Oh my God, I love Dove. I love Dove chocolates. So I was like, okay, let me just grab one. I'm gonna grab one, cause I'm gonna see if I like it or not. Just like I did with all the uh, Harry and Dave's. I just bought one. I know I probably should have bought more cause it might be good. But then again, if it's not, I only, I only spent $1.25, okay? And then uh, just some quick shares. So, I also picked up these, okay? Um, these are just Disney Valentines. I picked them up because I thought the pictures on them were really cute. Um, and I, I like I like picking up uh, Valentines because I think they're so cute to craft with. But then again, I hate the line that's on there because they always come with the line. But this one came with stickers. It says it comes with 12 jumbo stickers. So I thought, you know what, let's share, okay? So I'm gonna show you what's inside this package. <gasps> oh my God, I gotta buy more. Cause they had, they had Minnie Mouse, I gotta buy more. Look how flippin' adorable these little envelopes are. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, I gotta go back. Okay, so we know the envelopes are darling. Okay, so they're all the same. They have Mickey and Minnie. Okay, so I got those. They also have little tiny heart seals in red. And then, oh my gosh, wow. Oh, you guys, they do not have any fold. Oh my gosh, okay. So they don't have any of the folding. So yeah, I'm going back. Um, they don't have the little fold lines because these are these are small. These are these are itty bitty minis. So these are perfect for crafting with. So you have better together, bestie time, friends uh, forever with a little puppy dog uh, Pluto, uh, true friends, and that's what they. Oh, and then they have two cute. Oh boy, and then they have friends are all you need, and of course um, they got the whole. Well, they got more than the Fab Five. Um, they got Daisy in there also as well. But, oh my gosh, these are so cute for crafting. Okay, so yeah, I'm going back for more of those. But the reason why I wanted to open it is because I had purchased these ones, the Fruity Pebble ones. And just from nostalgia, ate Fruity Pebbles when we were little. And absolutely love Fruity Pebbles, and I don't eat them anymore, but I just love, uh, we love the Flintstones. Used to watch the Flintstones. You got, you got Fred, you got Barney, you got Pebbles and Bam Bam, and you got Dino. And you don't have Wilma and Betty, but um, as far as I know. Um, so then they come with suckers. You have the little suckers that you can slip in there. And these ones are kind of small too, but not as small. 
but these are what you get. But the only thing I wanted to do with these was I was gonna use them for crafting and I thought, well, I could fussy cut. The only thing, if I show you close up, if you were to fussy cut, you gotta get really, really close to Bam Bam because the, the print is right there next to it. Um, same with Dino and then uh, same with Fred here. Um, but I noticed that Barney's little foot is in the little crease where it pops out. Um, but those are still really cute. So they're great for crafting if you want to craft with them or if you want to get them for your kiddos or grandkids um, so that they can gift them out. And then I also had shared that I had picked up the lights. So... I'm just gonna point this out. Some of the lights, okay, these are the ones that are the little bumblebees. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I got something on here that I can show you, hold on. So these are the little bumblebees. I picked those up. Now these are perfect because they have this little piece that slides right off because I use these for crafting all the time. So um, I thought these would be perfect with Winnie the Pooh or anything you're doing with like a little honey pot. So those ones slip off perfect. Then you had the little bunnies that they have this year. They have the cute little bunnies that are a full bunny. And these as well pop right off, okay? So these were at Dollar Tree. And then also they have the little hearts that were at Dollar Tree. Now, the thing about the hearts, they don't pop off, okay? So this is what the heart looks like. They do not pop off. They had a bunch of glue inside of them. Um, I was I cut myself so many times. Um, I hurt my fingers hurt. Um, and then also these ones that I ended up getting at oh you can see I scraped it on the inside right there. But these ones I ended up getting at um, uh, oh my gosh where did I get them? Dollar General. So um, these ones are really cute too. But like I said you can see where I scraped them because I was trying to scrape. Um, that stuff out and, um, and I just couldn't get it all out but they're still cute they're still darling and they're still going to be fun to craft with so I just wanted to point that out that the ones at Dollar Tree um, the bunnies and the bees those ones are easy to come apart and then I had picked up some pens I put them all in the same little container because um, I wanted to test them first okay so I believe these ones right here, these big ones, um, these ones said that they didn't uh, grow, I guess they don't grow bacteria. And then there was these other ones that I picked up that were paper mates that say that they are ballpoint and they are smooth writing. So let's test real quick. So I just bought, a, I just bought one of these tablets. Let's just open it up. And we're gonna go ahead and test these. And the reason why I'm testing them, sometimes I love when people swipe uh, swipe colors or, uh, what is it? Yeah, they test the colors on their skin and stuff. Um, but uh, everybody's skin's different, so it's kind of hard to, uh, swatching, that's what it is. So everyone, it's kind of hard, but it's still nice seeing it. But I thought I would just test it. This one is the big one that is supposed to be um, where it, it doesn't grow bacteria apparently. So um, I'm just gonna print my name or sign my name. Uh, I'll say so far, this one actually um, writes pretty good. Um, yeah, I think it writes pretty good. It's all right. Now this one right here, which is the paper mate, has a, uh, has a lid, so you gotta make sure you gotta keep track of that lid. And so, I'm not used to writing like this, you guys, but, um, I don't know. I would say, honestly, I've used pens that write better, so I would probably give this a seven, okay? But they're all right. Um, for the price, you're, you're only paying $1.25. I think one of them, the big ones had five in it, and the paper mate had eight. So still a good price, but I just thought I would try that out. I was curious about that. And then I did pick up this A Year of Date Nights, okay? 
Um, there's 52 date ideas. Now, I didn't open it up at the time because it was kind of hard to get them out. But I was like, you know what? I want to see what's in them. So I thought, well, maybe there's other people that are curious to see what's in them too as well. So I thought I would share. So it says it's a date night. Um, you have nature trail, hike, um, take a tennis lesson. Okay, <laughs> some of them are kind of like what I would actually do and some of them are not so much what I would do. Um, go to the theater, go to the aquarium. A couple's massage. Now, that might be fun in my bedroom <laughs> versus <laughs> going to have somebody. I don't like other people touching my body, which is weird like that. But um, uh, visit a museum. Uh, drive-in movie. We only have one drive-in movie here. In California, we used to have a lot of them, but here we have only one. Um, hometown tourist. That's always fun. Um, dance lessons. Escape room. My daughter's... I, my daughter's done, I think, something like that before. Um, go white water rafting. Now, we don't have, like, a lot of white ra water rafting. We have near where my daughter lives um, um, in New Bronzeville and um, San Antonio and uh, San Marcos area. They have um, floating, so they float the river. Um, but this would, I would have to be visiting my dad in California. He's um, right near Folsom, and they have white water rafting there. Um, tour local gardens, I've done that before. Um, art gallery, yep. Um, sip and paint, I've, I've done painting. Oh my God, have I done painting. When I first moved to Texas, there was this, these places where we used to get bisque. You go, you go and you walk in and you pick out whatever you want to paint, and it's called bisque. And then you would paint it. And then after you were done painting it, they would put it in this little spray booth area and then they would spray it. And I did my share of uh, painting. Oh my God, I used to go every week, um, became best friends with one of the ladies there that taught me how to paint. And so I would take my kids all the time. That was a great outing. Um, ice skating. I've never ice skated before, you guys. I've always wanted to go to the Galleria. They have the ice skating in the Galleria, Galleria all year long. And in the woodlands, um, they always set up an ice skating ring. And I've always wanted to go. My daughter went for a birthday one time, but I've never been. Uh, go camping. <laughs> it's Texas. I don't know if we want to go camping here. It gets really hot. But I've camped before in California. Uh, roller skating. Oh, my God love roller skating me and my dot me and my cousin used to pretend like we we're donnie and murray um let's see uh dinner theater uh cook a meal together we do that all the time uh horse-drawn carriage that would be something that would be wonderful we've been in a carriage that was horse-drawn but it was had a lot more people in it um now i don't know about this one this might be scary don't go when you're upset with your husband or your boyfriend because <laughs> He might be the target, but that's axe throwing. Bowling. Love bowling. Used to be on the bowling team. That was so so much fun. Uh, beach day. Do that all the time. We love the beach. Um, live music. Do that all the time, too. That is so fun. Um, going to picnic. Oh, my God. When we first moved here, we lived in an apartment before we decided what neighborhood we wanted to move to. And we spent our so much of our first year here at the park. Um, doing picnics, um, pick fruit. That's always fun. Um, play board games. Fun too. See a symphony. Now I've never seen a symphony, but <laughs> believe it or not, they had Shrek, um, a theater. What well, was, it was like a Shrek play and it was kind of fun. It wasn't a symphony, but they did have music. Um, a spa day. It's always could be awesome. Paint your own pottery, which that's kind of falls in that same. Oh, I guess it doesn't fall in the same category. I guess this is pottery, which is kind of like the bisque. The other one is just like like a painting, which I've done that too. Um, ride bikes. That is so much fun. We used to go ride bikes to um, during certain times of the day, and we see all the deer out. Um, zoo. Love the zoo. Um, go for ice cream. I'm telling you, when we lived in California, we would drive a whole hour to go to Fenton's in Oakland. Oh, my gosh. Absolute delicious ice cream, guys. Um, horseback riding. Um, movie night. 
make a bucket list. I got a few of those. Um, dinner party, international food tasting, puzzles. My son just, my daughter gave him a puzzle. And during to his time off, he put this big old huge puzzle. As soon as his frame came in, he sat there. It came in the like the middle of the afternoon. And he put that puzzle together until he went to sleep. He was so tired and his back was killing him. <laughs> um, learn a language. Coffee shop. Skydiving. They have a place here that's an indoor skydiving. So you actually feel like you're actually going skydiving. Uh, comedy show. I've done a lot of these. Uh, watch a sunrise. Oh, sunrise and sunsets are like amazing, you guys. If you haven't watched them, you're missing out. Um, go to a sporting event. Done tons of those. Hot air balloon rides. Never tried that one, but Lisa in New York, um, they have hot, hot air balloons that they do. Every, there's a hot balloon uh, event. Hot air balloon event that goes on every year. And then, oh, and then you have a winery tour. Done that. And then also you have some extras that you can add your own little fun little events on there. Okay, so that's what's in that package. So that is my, uh, that is my haul, guys. Sorry, I was a little bit more chattery today. Um, if I get a chance, I will go ahead and uh, do... Um, what I, some stuff that I had previously picked up, um, after Christmas, um, I didn't do after Christmas shopping, but I had to go to the store looking for specific things, but I did end up finding some after Christmas items and some more Valentine's items. And I did find them at Michael's, um, five below, uh, dollar general, um, Hobby Lobby, and I think I got two items that were from TJ Maxx. So I will try to get that video done if it's possible. If I do, then I will upload that as well. So you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys all on the next video. Sorry, it's so long. Bye guys.